minus 5,000. It was uh, 5 billion, wasn't it? Yeah, per minute. Yeah. yeah? And this is applied to all plates. So I have to select all plates. So I select it with Control A. And Control E or Control F? Control A. Yeah. Apply. Man. Now, this is. Okay, that's right. When you see the arrows on top and arrows at the bottom like this, the direction of the road is okay, but we have to check the orientation of this plate. You remember what was the problem with the orientation? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah? How do I check this? Mm -hmm. Right click. Right click. Display. Orientation. Orientation. Okay. I'll hide the beam. Now we are dealing with space only. Do we have a problem? Yes. Yeah? So what should I do? I have to flip either these ones or this one. Yeah. How do I flip them? I'll go to tools. Then align. Flip element. And we select this one. They apply. Mm -hmm. And you see the orientation of the load is still the same. Mm -hmm. Or the direction of the load is the same. So this load is assigned in uh, global minus Z. I put the beams back and I'll do like this, five one click. Empty display, place, and put it back to property color. What should I do now? Copy. Okay. How do I copy? Tools. Copy. Copy. My name is Roman. Or, if you are not sure or if you don't know the number, you can do like this. Set by point. I'm going to copy from here to here. So it puts, it works out the four. When you say from here to here, then it works out the distance between the two nodes. Yeah. And what will be copied to the plate and B. So I have to make these two entities active. Oh. Yeah? And then I'll select everything with control A. Uh, why not the columns? They are selected as well. Mm -hmm. What about the nodes? Nodes, they will get generated automatically because if you don't have nodes, you don't have elements. And it is creating elements, so you will have nodes anyway. Okay. <coughs> and I will repeat ten times. Nine, nine. nine, nine six. Sorry? Nine, nine times. Yeah. And copy node attributes. Uh, yeah. Node hmm. attributes, you don't have any node attributes. Yeah. If you would have assigned a space here, then this should be unfixed. Copy element attributes. What are the element attributes we have? Element attributes we have are the loads. You want to copy these loads to the next load? Yes. Yeah, we want to do this. So I'll say apply. So beautiful. So now, this, this arrows they show you the load. We don't want them, so I'll hide them from. Uh, from here, mm -hmm. I'll hide the nodes, and here is your model. Mm -hmm. uh, now I still have to apply the support condition. How do I do this? Hello, go. Nodes. Attribute, nodes, is trained, everything is fixed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six. Sorry, this is the question. How to solve it, sir? Sorry, can you ask me to give you the same? Exactly, yes. Exactly the same? Yes. I have similar same. No, I'm asking you to hire up, but I don't know. Okay, anything else is missing? You want to go to global load and freedom case? Nothing to be changed here because it's a 3D model. Yes. Now, so the thing that we should do is, is create a loading case and you'll have one loading case for live load, which is what we have now, and another loading case for the own weight. Uh, but I think you can do this, isn't it? 
Look, even Jen's taking a copy of your Christmas book. You know how you know what we have put, we have done this before. So we look here them and combine them. Yeah. Or should we do this? Ah, uh, we should. Should we do this? Yes. Do it. Yes. Yeah. So I'll do like this. This is lower case one. I'll go to global, load and freedom cases, and all what I'll do is I'll change the name of load case one. I'm just changing the name. It's a matter of organizing things. I'll call it live load. And when you have live load, make sure that you don't have gravity. Okay. I'll create a new case. Double click and I'll call it DL. DL. Which would include the own weight. With the DL, I have to include the own weight of the structure, so I have to put the gravity, and gravity is Z. which direction? Z. 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 Negative or positive? Negative. Negative. And I'll say, okay. When you go to the loading cases here, I'll put the load back. Huh? Here is the live load with the applied load. Go to dead load, no load is applied. Adjust the own weight of the structure. Now I'll create a combination of the two. How do I create a combination? Go to result. Linear load case combination and say add. And I'll combine them with the following combination. 1.5 live load and what is it for dead load? 1.2. 1 and I'll just change the title here. It's like Excel. I'll put 1.2 the load plus 1.5 live load. And as if you are dealing with Excel. I say OK. Anything else is missing? File, save as. We have to save it. Cool. Um, did you save it on my USB? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's unfortunately it's difficult. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'll change the uh, uh, get it from the phone. Sorry? Self-weight. Yeah. 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 When you define the self-weight, it defines for the whole structure. Yeah. Even the plane. Everything. You can try uh, uh, okay. Now, solver, linear and static. So. Nothing. Nothing. Result. Open it as file. Mm -hmm. You want to generate this? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. I will hide these arrows. And first thing I'll do is I'll check that I have a reasonable deform shape. F4. Control, go up with the right mouse key, and if that's the reason of the form shape, mm -hmm. yes. <coughs> I'll say yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. There is nothing flying in the air or nothing mm -hmm. sort of like floating around or anything like that. Huh? So that's the reason of the form shape. Now, what I want to check is I want to check some loads. If I will check column loads, I'm not interested in plates, so it's better to hide plates. And now I'm not interested in the blue beams, so I'll hide them. I'll select them, and I'll hide, I'll use this one, hide selected. And I'll let the use on. You see that? Now I'll put, I'll do right mouse click, scale, I'll set it to zero, and I'll say okay. What is it? These are the columns. Uh, I'll check the stress in these columns uh, due to this combination. So I'll go right mouse click, result settings. Beams, which also the same for columns, contour, stress, what type of stress do we want? Axial. We want axial and then I'll 